Hello friends, welcome back to another video. We are going to be doing a gel manicure today and I'm just going to show you how I do my gel manis. So I'm going to use the Madame Glam system. These are all PR. I really like them. This is the Soak Off Gel, the Perfect White, and the No Wipe Top Coat. And my lamp is from Zoya, but it's like the same lamp that a bunch of companies put their name on so you can get the same thing off of Amazon. I've already filed and done my cuticle remover and kind of prepped my nails and removed like all of the um, hangnails and everything. And then the first step that I do is buff my nails to kind of give them a little bit of texture so that the gel has something to hold on to. I do want to say like obviously kind of right off the bat that I am not a manicurist. I'm not professional in gel. I was sent these in PR and I've just kind of watched YouTube videos and played around with it to see how to work it. And then once I'm done with that, I just kind of go in and clean everything up. I really try to get into like the cuticle area and clean everything off because that is what's going to help keep the gel sticking to your nail and not lift up in any like weird places. And then I will go in with the base coat and sometimes I use a peely one, but I'm not going to do that today. And on the back, it'll tell you how long to cure it in your lamp. And right before I put the base coat on, I go in with like some alcohol and just kind of completely wipe my nail really, really dirt free. And that seems to help my gel manicures stay when I do them at home. And for base coat, I kind of do the same as with a regular manicure. I just go in with a thin coat, make it really even. The only thing that I do differently for the gel manicures is make sure that there's nothing on my skin because once that cures, it can... Um, it'll be really hard to get off because it's cured obviously and getting the gel products on your skin is not recommended. And then I just put my hand in and cure. I only do four fingers at a time, so I'll do the first four fingers, and then I'll do my other four fingers, and then I'll do my two thumbs. I'll show that more in a minute. As far as the polish, I do three thin coats of every gel polish pretty much that I use because I'm really worried that it won't cure, so I always just do three thin coats. And I'm just a little bit more careful with the gel. I try to make sure that it is completely perfect um, before I go into cure because you cannot change it after you cure it. Like it's going to be how it is. So I make sure to be really precise with the brush and I clean up as I go and just try to make sure that everything is really nice and crisp and just double check. You can move the gel polish around as much as you want before it's cured, like it won't dry, but once it's cured, it's done. There's no really going back on that. And then again, the instructions for um, curing will be on the back of most of the bottles that I have. I'm assuming some brands don't put it on there, but Madame Glam puts it on the back of their um, bottles. And like I said, I'm just making sure that it's really precise before I cure and that I clean up everything and make sure that the coverage is even how I want it before I go in and cure. The reason that I'm actually doing this is because we are going on a hiking trip and I just wanted to kind of have like a more secure manicure. I usually will do either a gel mani like this or a gel mani with a peel off base. It just kind of depends on how long we're going to be gone. I just wanted a really crisp white manicure so I decided to do a full gel mani for this trip and it worked out wonderfully. I had no issues and it looks like really nice and didn't mess up with all of our hiking. So the only thing with the top coat is pretty much the same as like the base coat and the polish. I try to do a thinner coat. Usually with regular polish, I do a thicker coat of top coat. But with the gel polish, I do a really thin coat of top coat. 
and I make sure there's like nothing on my skin and nothing around my cuticles. I try to clean up as much as possible because again, it's not great for your skin. And then also, um, once it cures, it's going to just be sitting there. And if you try to pick at that, then that could lift up the gel manicure as well. And you don't want to be picking at any of the gel polish because that's how your nails will get damaged. So, like I said, I usually just do the four fingers at a time, and that's just because of how they fit in the lamp. It's just easier for me to do it that way. So, I'm just doing the base coat again, and then I'll go in with three coats of polish. I figured I would just do a kind of like time lapse for this because I don't know how many times you need to see me paint the same way over and over again. We had to do a quick pause because I needed to go eat, but that is the one thing I love about gel manicures is that they're completely dry, so I could go eat after I finished putting all of the coats on, and now I'm doing my thumbs. I always, always, always look at the bottle to make sure that I'm using the base coat and not the top coat because they look the exact same. So I'm just going in and doing my thumbs now, and literally I'm doing the exact same thing as all of my other fingers. Once again, just three coats on this and then top coat and everything is beautiful and cured. I really like this um, Madame Glam system. They're, I don't have a ton of gels, but they are one of my favorite or gels that I have tried. Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and seeing how I do my gel manis. Again, I am not a nail technician or anything. I've just been sent PR and I kind of learned how to... <laughs> make it a little bit with the gel and it has really helped especially when we go on trips or something so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching